to a dumb person like me the image of air passing through a filter makes sense yeah but let's talk about the physics problem how does air passing through a filter less air purifier get purified yeah so um this will do it for particles not for gases gases you still have to have some kind of conversion okay um to go filterless there are f- only few approaches um one is to do what a vac- vacuum cleaner does right is that you create a cyclone inside a device such that the particles settle to the bottom of the cyclone and the cleaner leaves from the top right so you but that doesn't work for ultra fine particles so if you have heavy dust like you know sand grains or like you know pieces of a biscuit or whatever like pm50 and larger in size it will be able to separate it with a cyclone um then cyclone requires a high amount of energy it needs to be large enough to separate enough amount of air and create a large flow zone for it and so on <laughs> but for the other way to do it is to charge particles now uh ionizers and electrostatic precipitators have existed for decades what an ionizer does is it takes oxygen in the air creates a charge that oxygen suddenly becomes an oxygen radical uh instead of o2 and it's able to stick to particles or other harmful substances in the air and make it settle down on the floor or stick to the wall or the opposing charged surface but ionizers if uh, are not really like designed in a manner where they are actively removing particles with high volume of air flowing through it right and um if if, if you want to do that uh then you're sort of going at much higher energy levels where you have challenges like ozone where these oxygen radicals you create instead of o2 form o3 and ozone is not a safe gas to to yeah. breathe continuously um the electrostatic precipitator on the other side which is what industries like cement steel have been using for decades like building sized machines with large plates and these spiky things inside which create this charged zone mm-hmm. where polluted air flows through it and and you know cleaner air comes out the other side there is a massive physics limitation there on how do you make it smaller how do you make it deal with high volumes of air and you can't keep it in your room it's not safe right you are dealing in hundreds of kilovolts right so 100000 volts um the computer we use is at like 24 volts right so how do you take that and make it abundant and safe and and put it everywhere right? so that's where prans uh, ip ip is um what we did is we took the physics of charging particles miniaturized it in a manner where at very low energy at very high flow rates of polluted air and with an automated collection mechanism we are able to pull in polluted air charge the particles separate them from the polluted air let the clean air leave and these particles are then automatically dumped into a drawer where instead of having a filter that you change there's a drawer you empty like a trash can um and put it back in and in 30 seconds is back to operating how do you do all this i i don't know how much you can disclose <laughs> um so it's it's like it's it's literally what i said there's a fan on the top we're using gravity to our advantage we're pulling in the polluted air making it flow through what pran refers to as cores in these cores we charge the particles at a very low energy level just above where ionization takes place they stick to a surface inside for you know few seconds once that particle is stuck there's a mechanism which dumps it into a drawer below um and so when it's dumping it it's turning off that specific core and there's bunch of cores so it's like all happening asynchronously so there's no downtime in the purification system um and the way this whole system is engineered is that it allows us to use uh, high suction fans despite having a small form factor such that even if the air is moving quickly the way the air is spreading through all through the device allows the air in each of those chambers to move at the right pace so that the particles can be separated with high efficiency yeah. so it's a very hard optimization problem that pran has solved um it's like if i if i change my dimensions a little bit my voltage requirements go up drastically and if they go up drastically my ozone emission goes up drastically if i make it slower then it's not adding value to the customer um right if i have fewer number of cores my efficiency is dropping so it's a very hard balancing problem took us almost 5 years to figure out how to balance it um and now we take that and we make different sized products and, and things around it. 